Have you wondered how to use artificial intelligence or AI in your requirements work? That is a hot question. The answer is possibly. Uh, first, we'll talk over what is generative AI. You might know it as ChatGPT. Then we'll just discuss how it might help our requirements effort. Now, first, I have used ChatGPT not for requirements work, but for creating some video content. For instance, uh, 10 things that might help a new systems engineer learn the soft skills needed to succeed in their career. Okay, type that in, it'll give 10 headlines, okay? And, and that'll prompt my imagination for actual posts. So what I use it for is I use it to just prompt my thought process to help get me started, give me some thought ideas. Every once in a while there's one that either I hadn't thought of or I might have worded it differently. Okay, so I'm welcome, or I welcome the, the fresh ideas, perhaps, or the different perspective, so to speak. It is machine learning. Uh, but I do not take it verbatim and then, boom, just put it out on the web. I think it's the same way for requirements. For, we could always go to ChatGPT and ask, hey, you know, what are some requirements for a, an adult bicycle that needs to function in snow? Okay, and it'll, it'll, it'll jog our imagination, uh, maybe spark our creativity. How I would use it, though, is from there to, to take the step, use our human intuition, and actually write the requirements. Now, it can be very helpful to spot gaps. Okay, so we, let's say we're using ChatGPT, getting some requirements for, for different products, maybe requirements for a power supply. And we might think of something like, oh, okay, it has um, you know, thermal requirements, but shock requirements as well. For maybe for some reason, uh, we had left that off our spec. Okay, so it can be helpful as an assist, but I very much would not just take what it spits out, put shall statements in front of it, and then call it a requirement spec. That being said, uh, it's, it is a powerful tool. I, I think Chat GPT, particularly the new version coming out at some point, you know, can be a powerful assist. And what, what I see it as is that it can cut down our design time. So if we're in a very aggressive schedule environment and our cycle times, maybe they used to be 10 years, now they're three years, okay, for the auto industry, let's say. ChatGPT could be an accelerant. AI can, can help. Uh, there's also a product out there, I believe it was IBM, uh, IBM Watson was able to use uh, natural language tools to give a basically evaluate the requirement in some way. Like if the wording was vague, it could suggest new wording, or it could say, okay, these are the flaws in a natural language requirement. So that's another way it can, it can be useful. Uh, that's a little different than generative AI. That's, that's more natural language processing. Uh, again, very powerful. Uh, now I believe IBM will let you, us as a well, company uh, download a engine where we can keep it in our private spaces. See, the risk with some of this AI is that when we ask ChatGPT all these questions, you know, we're making ChatGPT smarter. So if someone else comes along and says, hey, what are great requirements for a bicycle? It'll just spit them right out and it will save them time and save them money, that's, which will let them come in under cost. And now we have a competitive disadvantage. So the last thing you want to do is train up chat GPT to be smarter than we are in our particular field. Watson's a little different. Uh, their engine used to be in IBM spaces. That's problematic for some military and defense applications, but I, I believe they do have a, a download where you can have a copy of their engine in a, a secure environment. Before, we'd have to upload the requirements to Watson, and they'd process it, and then they'd spit it back out. It's a little more private, but, but still troubling. Wide open field, comment below or message me directly if you have more questions, and particularly if you have experience using AI to help your requirements. Uh, there are some papers out there. So if you have that experience, comment below as well. I'll, I'll find some references for you if you need. And just stay tuned because AI is definitely here to stay, and I think it has a lot of promise in helping us accelerate our requirements work. And if we can accelerate that process, then we're closer to product running off the production line. I'll see you in the next step.